Well, you better start getting used to this, BBC. Let's begin. The Arkhal Sizer, India Sizer, has blocked the airing of a BBC documentary about Nevada Modi, the country's Prime Minister, with the sharing of any clips on social media prohibited. The two-part programme, India, the Modi Question, included questions about Modi's leadership during the 2002 riots in which more than 1,000 people were killed. According to Ganshan Krupta, I hope I pronounced that right, a government advisor orders to block the clips from being shared were done using emergency powers under India's information technology rules. While the BBC has not broadcasted the documentary in India, it has been uploaded on some YouTube channels, Mr Gupta said. Last week, though, a spokesperson for India's foreign ministry described the documentary as a propaganda piece that was echoing a destructive narrative, and it makes us wonder about the purpose of this exercise and the agenda behind it. Foreign Ministry spokesperson Adim Baki, I didn't ask that right, I don't think I did, was quoted by the BBC as saying, Hang on a minute, propaganda at the BBC? I mean, you can't say things like that, can you? I mean, a lot of Labour voters and Ramonas will just blow their tops at the suggestion of such a thing. Although, to be honest, there is a small teeny weeny chance that quite a lot of us Brexiteers, including myself, and a lot of Conservative voters and people who don't really support left-leaning parties would probably actually agree with that propaganda statement because let's face it, they haven't really done exactly much to prove us otherwise, have they? Especially if their coverage of Brexit and the UK elections appear to show us over time. But then, of course, that could be another reason why a lot of people don't really want their TV licence anymore. So, I mean, why should we have all this stuff shoved down our faces when, to be honest, we don't want it? And obviously, hopefully, in 2027, when the TV licence Royal Charter Protection ends, they'll have to go the adverts or subscription route, won't they? And no doubt if they go the subscription route, they'll probably want to broadcast all over the world so they can get as many customers as possible. So the news that countries are potentially blocking some of their programs might not fill them full of confidence by going that route to begin with. So I'm guessing they're probably going to have to be a little bit more careful with their programming in general if they do go that route. And if they did, you know, I could think of two, no, no, one person who might subscribe to them. Um, I think his name's Tim Davey, I think. A BBC spokesperson said the BBC is committed to highlighting important issues from around the world. The documentary series examines the tensions between India's religious majority and minorities and exposes the politics of India's PM Nirvana Modi, hope I pronounced that right, in relation to those tensions. This has been the source of considerable report and an interest in both the India and across the world in recent years. I myself haven't really been bothered too much about it, but, you know, there we go. The documentary was rigorously researched according to the highest editorial standards. A wide range of voices, witnesses and experts were approached and we have featured a range of opinions that includes responses from people in the BJP. And we have offered the Indian government a right to reply on these matters, raised in the series, but it declined to respond. And, of course, speaking of the whole world, it appears like the government has granted visas to people who are criminals. Anyway, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.